Welcome to WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held here in New Delhi in India. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Gitanjali Radhakrishnan, who is the CEO and Managing Director of Adivo Diagnostics. Gitanjali, welcome to the studio. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, uh, you are exhibiting here at the WTSA Expo, and uh, this particularly caught my eye. Tell me a little bit about Adivo, and, uh, which I believe is a Latin word, is that right? That's right. Which means? To help or to aid people. To help or yeah. to aid people, okay. And tell us a little bit about the, the piece of equipment that we've got here. This is a, a 3D uh, printed version of it, but uh, it gives us an illustration of, uh, of what you've got um, mm -hmm. uh, and what you've been rolling out, please. Sure. So, uh, I'm Gitanjali, founder of Edivu. So, like I said, uh, if you've noticed 60% of the antibiotics that are being prescribed for any kind of infections, post-surgery, pre-surgery, even for your simple throat infections are unnecessary. So, the world is actually looming into a new crisis and the next pandemic is not going to be because of a virus, but because of bacteria which are turning into superbugs and the antibiotics are no longer going to work. So this is where our key mission at Adivo is towards having simple solutions, combining AI and photonics to detect these invisible bacteria and make it more visible. So you end up judiciously prescribing antibiotics with a more evidence-based approach. So what we have developed here is a handheld imaging system. It can be used at the point of care. And it can be used by anybody, not only doctors, even somebody who is a nurse, practitioner, very easy to use. It shines light, captures the bacterial fluorescence, and it tells you instantly where the bacteria is. So you don't need to take a sample, send it to a culture laboratory, wait for 48 to 72 hours. And you, you know that a lot of countries do not have the flexibility to have a diagnostic lab every, everywhere, right? So this is exactly where this device fits in. So you, you know exactly what's causing it and you take action only when it's needed and you judiciously prescribe antibiotics. So you mentioned a fluorescence, it's working with fluorescence. That's right. Does it require a particular lighting environment to work or how does it work exactly? That's right. So that's a great question. So we have, uh, you need to use a completely dark room. And in areas where you cannot you know, have an ambient light to be blocked, we give you an additional drape material, which is a black kind of cloth that you can cover at the optic side, easy to attach, and you can image. Great. And so, and this is the actual size of, of, the, uh, right. um, of the imaging device. And it's got a, a camera on the back as well, uh, obviously, uh, which uh, it's got several cameras or how does it work exactly? So it has a couple of LEDs because you need to shine multiple light sources. It captures something called multispectral images. Yes. And then it captures biomarkers coming from the bacteria as images. And there is an AI that runs on the edge and it uses an advanced Qualcomm based processor. We are in fact supported by them. And the AI trained model runs on the device itself. So instantly after you take an image, you know where the bacteria is and also the type of bacteria in a color coded manner as you see on the result page. Wow, okay. So doctors can never imagine this wound. You know, it looks infected, but it you don't know where the horrendous. bacteria is. Yeah, I'm say. And imagine yeah. you, you see red fluorescence, you see cyan yes. fluorescence, you see these are coming from different types of bacteria. Right. And then you can tailor your treatment accordingly by knowing where what is present where. And most of the times you just have to remove it surgically. Yes. And if it looks clean after you do a debridement, yes. you know, that's the procedure called. And you see it's completely clean, you don't give an antibiotic. I see. Okay. Not even for the, for the, the repair process afterwards. So you can keep... Uh, monitoring the patient over a period of, you know, uh, three to seven days when they are in the hospital. Yes. And then they come for a follow on visit as well, because you cannot take a sample every time and depend on your culture lab. So sure. that's where it fits in. Okay. And, and how have we been doing in terms of rollout for this? Sure. So we have the license to market in India. Uh, we have submitted our USFT approvals as well. Uh, so in India, we have uh, close to 17,500 imaging sessions already completed. Uh, we have done an impact study as well, where it's proven that 40% of the antibiotic prescription has been reduced if you use this device. And there's been a better follow-up rate from the patients as well, which is like close to 30%. Uh, 
um, and that's how uh, in India it's going towards. We're also part of the Northeast 5G mission. So we have one, uh, uh, one of the demo units there as well in this conference as well. Uh, so this will help us roll out in the northeastern part of India where, you know, it's a highly Hindi terrainous region and mm. these devices can be particularly helpful. Uh, so yeah, with our US FDA, our plan is to uh, take it also to the developing and the developed countries. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much for, for, for coming in and, uh, and telling us a little bit about this. It certainly seems an extremely valuable and worthy project. And I think that... Uh, um, a lot of hospitals and, and medical centers, uh, I'm sure, will be uh, taking you up on this. So uh, let's wish you the very best of luck for oh, the future with this. Thank you so much. And uh, look forward to catching up with you again very soon. You can tell me your great <laughs> success story and how you've rolled it out across the planet. Sure, absolutely. So let's illuminate and uh, move towards judicious prescription of antibiotic using this device. And again, it's named Illuminate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Illuminate. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for illuminating uh, us here. Um, at the ITU studio at WTSA. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcast on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website, www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.